Okay, so that takes the end of this harness. Now, right here, that's the driver's harness door. Yeah, this one. This one's the main harness connector. And the main harness connector leads to this whole, this whole bag of stuff. So we're gonna go through this bag and this harness and uh, see what we find in it. Let's try and find that main harness connector right here. Okay. So, uh, here is our main harness connector. And I see we have both a left and a right on it, huh? <laughs> That's your dimmer switch for your brightness on your dash. So, there we go, disconnected. No, nope, I just ripped the, th the connector in half. There we go. So a little purple connector, four wires. Your dimmer switch. So I guess this main harness is on the dash. That's your fog lights. Well, it's a four wire connector with three wires in it. Your fog lights. An unlabeled one. Ah, oh, yes. We're heading up by the steering wheel, aren't we? I'm thinking that's where we are. Something in here, the dash. Oh, two browns and two dark browns. That is usually the GM high speed LAN going in and out of that box. Unlabeled. Don't know what it is. Main harness connector. And so those three little ones came off right after the main harness connector. Shortly after that is this one. Steering column. Okay, this. Or is it this one? Okay. Well, one of these goes to your clock spring and up to the steering wheel controls. And the other one doesn't. So the gray or the black, I'm not sure which. They both look fairly similar. They're opposed to each other. And another eight wire connector. near the steering column yellow SRS this is the airbag these are all at the bottom and they're all unlabeled well I got some more work to do a green this looks like a five wire connector flat tenth of an inch spacing SRS a four wire connector with an empty fifth slot actually for that matter this one's got an empty fifth slot Green, black, brown, red. This one's orange, green, pink, gray. Wow, got a lot unlabeled on the steering column. From the main harness connector, if we carry on after the steering column, we've got the trunk release button. Looks like another four hole one that the black and the brown are in. Being used, main SRS, main harness SRS, four wire connector. This is your OBD2 OBD2 connector, onboard diagnostic connector. And this, I think, is just a junction to join all the green together. These greens are your GM low speed LAN. Further down that same connector, it says stereo amplifier. Okay, so we've got two row, and that looks like wow, that's eight pin. Two by eight. And this is another two row connector, bigger. And this is a two row connector with four, two by four. This is two by, two by eight. That's two by eight, smaller scale. Okay, so that takes care of the main connector going up the dash column and up to the stereo. If we come down a little further, we got a few connectors. What's this little one? It says the boost gauge. Little four wire connector. This one says top of clutch pedal, two wire connector. Ooh, this one we lost it. Right near the pedals though.
top of brake pedal, a gray one. Bottom of brake pedal, a black one. Gas pedal, a six connector. There's all our pedals coming down the main harness here. Instrument cluster, that plugs right into the back of the instrument cluster. Oh, that is your brightness sensor. Dash daylight detector. Normally there's a plastic bubble over it, but I guess the sunlight killed it. It has just a tiny little two-wire connector on it. Info return buttons. Looks like a six connector with five wires in it. A pretty major ground. Emergency light switch. That's a four wire connector. And we already did that. Sliding down the harness further. We got another ground. This one's labeled as the stereo. A black connector. Oh, this must be the stereo amplifier. Because we already have the stereo way up there. And here's the radio antenna wire for it. Coming down here, it splits. We got a cigarette lighter connector. And the back of the BCM. Well, okay, that's the back. Okay, well, another connector for the BCM. Uh, this little connector here. HVAC controls. Looks like a two by eight. Ooh, there's quite a bit of wires there. Two by four, I mean, sorry, making eight in total. HiVac controller. Here's the harness number of the, this is the main harness we're off of. The BCM J2 connector. Looks like that. Red and green, interesting. Following down the harness even farther. Oops, I zipped by this thing. TPM remote lock. And this is normally in a plastic black box. With a little red and blue connector on it. Uh, my box, the sunlight disintegrated it, so all I got is the circuit board. The ground. Oh, here we go. Here's a... Well, it says radio deck. But the antenna plug is on it. Well... And then it leads to yet another sub-harness off the sub-harness. Interesting. What do we got here? Just a two-wire connector. Oh, here we're heading back into the dash. Interior fan, a two-wire connector. HVAC motor. HVAC, oh, those are those little tiny motors that open and close vents under your dash. And then the harness carries on back here. This is your fan speed resistor. And that is the resistor. That This is normally inside the ducting. Like the fan blows, the interior fan blows air over this resistor. But it's a big heavy four wire connector. White and gray. Travel down here a little further. And this wire leads to this connector. Okay, and we're dealing with high vac controls. And there's another littler connector on it, a two by something row. Two by eight. Oh, there's another one here that was said high vac earlier on. That plugs into that side of it. And then finally we follow this harness down further. Yeah, we lost the camera again. And this is another HVAC controller. A one row by six. And another one row by six. And this sub-harness, I guess, is 2329. Yeah, these are the little high vac motors. Okay. That is the entire sub-harness for this sub-harness of 7796. And I guess I can go back in the bag that I took it out of.